And finally tonight, law enforcement has a new partner on the beat, the tech sector. And Julia Borston got a first-hand look at how it's being used to fight crime. Forget stun guns and body cams. The next generation of gadgets are designed to prevent police from being in the line of fire while helping protect the public. Gunshot detection systems can pinpoint the exact source of gunfire, while another system shoots GPS-enabled darts to attach to and track fleeing vehicles. We've had them shot and keep going. Captain Jack Ewell at the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department says no matter what the cost of the new technology, if it saves lives, it's worth it, which is why they're using more high-tech gadgets than ever. The technology improves uh, almost on a daily basis, so we use it more now than we ever have before. The, the robots are, are better, they, they, you know, they, they function better, they do more things that they couldn't do in the past. The costs have actually uh, come down down and uh, they're, they're, they're indispensable. Here at the Los Angeles Sheriff Department, they've been deploying all sorts of robotics, most recently these unmanned aerial vehicles for everything from bomb threats to search and rescue to active shooter situations. These drones give law enforcement eyes from above. And it's not just robotic cameras in the air. They're also sending robots into dangerous situations on the ground and even robots for underwater search and rescue. We used it uh, in a uh, situation, a tactical situation, where someone was firing a, a high-powered rifle uh, from a house uh, into a community. And we were able to uh, use this technology to see uh, exactly where that gunman was. And back at the station, there's powerful software, which helps police file reports and keep and evaluate statistics. Startup Mark 43 says it saved a quarter million hours of work for police in D.C. alone. And the less time spent filing paperwork, the more time those police can spend on public safety. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Borston in Los Angeles.